I am sitting at my computer waiting for a guy who responded to my ad at Craigslist. I posted an ad looking for a sugar daddy in Brazil and included a picture of my tits. To resend a video of him jacking off to my picture. My computer would not let me view the video. The universe does not want me to see the video. I do not want to see the video. This is not what I want out of life. I just watched the first few minutes of Dan Zero's sole YouTube video, his poetry reading and musical performance at the Pizza Place in Oakland in 2008. That is what I want out of life. I want to watch and listen to Dan Zero. I sent him the Paula Dean fried chicken recipe this morning on a whim. No response. I am thinking that our friendship is indeed over. Too much weirdness transpired that week. Too much blood. I know he saw things in me he didn't like. I wanted something he didn't want. I wanted sex. I really wanted intimacy. He wasn't ready for that. I got drunk and persisted. Our last night together in my hotel room on Bush Street in San Francisco, I serenaded him with Hold Me Now by the Thompson Twins and licked his face. He got out of bed and made a bed for himself on the floor. He put his shirt on. I told him I was looking for a kiss. He said, we all are. I told him that I just wanted to give to him, but not like the giving tree. We had been discussing children's literature that day, and he had said that the giving tree always bothered him. He didn't like it. He said, good. I said, okay. He said, no. I mean, I'm glad you're not the giving tree. I had given until gone. He didn't want me to give anymore. The next morning, he got up, puked, got his stuff together, and told me he was going down to his car to get the bag I'd left inside it. When he came back to the room, I was sitting in a chair in my several sizes too big, black voodoo logger t-shirt and DC Comics superheroes pajama pants. He set the bag down and looked at me. Any last words? He asked. I thought, how dramatic, how Leo. He was so serious. I looked at him and said, I love you. I'll miss you. That was all I could manage. The moment felt so final. I was devastated. I couldn't believe four years of friendship on fire could end over something so stupid and sad. I was drunk. We shared a bed. I told him I wanted a goodnight kiss. I licked his face. Big fucking deal. Jesus. I stood and he gave me a hug. He asked me if I was all right. No. Neither am I. But it isn't all about you and your needs. When I tell you that I'm not ready for that, yet, you need to respect my boundaries. That's what it's about. Those were his last words to me. He left the room and I crumpled into the bed. I had a vivid dream when I got home from California. I dreamed that I could see the Pacific Ocean and there were all these sailboats. I was in a restaurant that specialized in pizza and fish tacos. One of the employees gave me a letter from Dan Zero. And then I was with Dan Zero in the restaurant. I was contrite. I was his meek, apologetic angel. He asked me to make a list of the things I could not live without. He said if his name was on that list, then I could have him every day. It was just a dream, but that is something I hold on to. I'll hold on to it as long as I can. I don't think my feelings for Dan Zero will ever die. Even if they are not fed by emails and phone calls from him. 
But if our friendship is really over, I will cherish the memories and carry those around like good luck charms for the rest of my life. And I will get on with the business of living, because I've stood at the crossroads and decided I am not going to be Sylvia Plath or Ann Sexton. I am going to fucking live.